Hey there, friends. All right, buckle up because we're diving into the topic of Indian people and I'm not holding back any punches. First off, let me just say, Indian people are some of the most badass, hardworking and resilient folks you'll ever meet. I mean, have you seen Bollywood? Those dance moves could put any Hollywood star to shame. <laughs> you ever notice how Indian uncles always have that one signature move on the dance floor? It's like they're auditioning for Dancing with the Bollywood Star. Now, let's talk about Indian food. Oh man, if you haven't tried Indian cuisine, you're missing out, my friend. It's like a flavor explosion in your mouth <laughs> with spices that'll make your taste buds do the cha-cha. And don't even get me started on Indian wedding. Those things are like the Super Bowl of Indian celebrations. You've got the colorful sarees, the energetic music, and enough food to feed a small army. Plus, you better believe they know how to party till the sun comes up. <laughs> and these are like marathons, except instead of running, you're dancing, eating, and dodging the Indian aunties who are trying to set you up with their nephew or niece. I swear, Indian aunties have a sixth sense when it comes to matchmaking. You could be minding your own business at a family function, and suddenly you're being sized up like a piece of meat at a butcher shop. I've never seen anyone negotiate like an Indian person at a flea market. It's like watching a masterclass in haggling. No, no, my friend. That price is as inflated as my auntie's gossip. And let's talk about Indian moms for a second. Those women are like superheroes without capes. They can whip up a five course meal, do the laundry, and still have time to give you a lecture about the importance of education. And trust me, you do not want to mess with an Indian mom. They've got eyes in the back of their heads and a wooden spoon that's just itching to teach you a lesson. I swear, Indian mothers have a remedy for everything. Got a headache, rub some turmeric on it. Broken heart, drink some tea and call me in the morning. And let's not forget about Indian aunties and their obsession with feeding you until you burst. Oh, you're full? Nonsense here. Have some more butter chicken. And let's talk about Indian dads and their do-it-yourself skills. They're like MacGyver with a toolbox, fixing everything from leaky faucets to broken hearts. And let's not forget about Indian accents. Man, those things are comedy gold. I could listen to an Indian person talk all day with their charming inflections and hilarious mispronunciations. And then there's the traffic situation in India. Holy cow, it's like the Wild West out there. Lane lines are more like suggestions and horn honking is the national pastime. But hey, you gotta give them props for their driving skills. Dodging cows and motorcycles like a boss? All right, let's talk about arranged marriages. Yeah, I know it's a touchy subject, but let's be real, sometimes auntie knows best. I've seen more successful marriages come out of arranged setups than I have out of Tinder dates gone wrong. And finally, let's talk about the resilience of the Indian spirit. Despite facing centuries of colonization, oppression, and hardship, Indian people have persevered and thrived. They've risen from the ashes like a phoenix with a spirit that's as fiery as their curry. So there you have it, folks. My unfiltered take on Indian people. They're a vibrant, diverse, and resilient bunch who deserve all the respect and admiration in the world. That's all for today, friends. I hope you liked the show, but before you go, please like and subscribe my channel.